So, Princeton, Toxic, uh, I would like you two to pick each other's opponents for next week's show. Oh, I got the perfect opponent for you, buddy. He has no idea what's coming. Welcome to Game of Honor. I'm your host, Admiral Black. With me, I have Skulls, and Cass will be joining us on commentary here today. Starting off tonight, we have a co-op challenge mode with Corruption, Mason, and Rose. So let's go ahead and welcome those two to the arena. Corrupt. All right, Mason and Rose. Haven't seen these two working together in quite some time, actually. It's been a while. It has. But uh, two members of Corruption coming in today to do a challenge mode. It's going to be a good match. I expect it. All right. Two members of Corruption. Two former champions co-oping together in Super, Rock Super Rocket Jump. Uh, I played this game before, and honestly, I have to say it's a very, very, very fun game. Uh, it's very can be a little bit challenging, mm -hmm. depending on who you're playing against. And these two are playing against two computers who are set to the highest difficulty. Okay. Yeah. So this is definitely oh. going to be a challenge for them, but uh, I mean, I yeah. feel like they may do a good job. Yeah. If you saw that warning the, label show up, the big red triangle, uh, it, on this particular stage, they're on a moving train. And when that shows up, it means that there's going to be a low overhang for a tunnel showing up. And okay. anyone who's caught up there or anyone who's caught on the tracks immediately is KO'd. Okay. So they've already won one round. Moving on to the second. Right. Oh, okay. Looks like nobody was KO'd that time, even though we saw the warning oh, that's indicator. Rose using her special. Oh, she's coming in with her special. Oh, there's this, also the CPU's using its special, summoning a bunch of zombie mooks all over the place. Oh. Okay. Seems like a pretty fast-paced game, and when you put it in a close-quarter environment like this, it mm -hmm. can just oh. become chaos. Okay, there goes Mason using his special. I know that one. It definitely it ignites bombs all over the place. Okay. So it's very, very difficult to predict, and mm -hmm. it's very difficult to dodge. Here comes Ooh. another tunnel. And, oh! oh just down. in time. Cutting it close there. Cutting it really close there, and they barely have any health left. Ooh. Oh, it's just, it's just Mason right now. Mason the computer. Okay, Mason's going in. Oh, that was close. That was very close, yep. but the PC barely has, uh, NPC barely has uh, health left. You have just one more shot and he's got this. Mm-hmm. You can tell he's, he's kind of running away. Oh, oh it's close. He mistimed it. Oh, he didn't get eliminated by the tunnel. There oh, that's it. it. Go. There it goes. Mason, Rose, when they successfully complete their challenge mode here, they are both going to win 20 points of experience. Like I said, I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, two former champions coming in tonight. Absolutely. And Mason King especially has shown a long streak of just brutalizing this competition. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with Heather versus the Brat. Yeah, well, wait, what's up, what's up? What's up? Wait, what's um, up? I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, so, I know we're going against each other. Yeah, yeah, we but, are. Let's but I wanted it. to let you know there's there's no beef. I know that usually when you're competing against some, each other, you're like, you're going to talk me bad about each other and everything. But I watched you. I watched you on the game, and I watched you grow. And I've been here a really long time. So, I just wanted to let you know you're a cool guy. And I'm not going to be talking behind your back or anything like that, because I think we both have a shot at this. And like, mm. I want to win, but I think that if you win, I'm going to be rooting for you, too. Are you being shit up? Or are we not, we're not playing with me right now? You're not punking me? Like... No, I'm just... I think you're cool. Huh. I, I won't lie, I kind of feel like a dick. I'm kind of mean sometimes, but like, you know what? Good luck to you, too. Like, 
you know what? Yeah, I can get over here. Just, yeah, I'll get out there. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the, the cleaning this though. It's pretty nice, right? Yeah, that is pretty cool. Right, they they don't have paper nice and towels. Nice Yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah. Thanks, Marie. <laughs> he does does a job. So, which house am I in? Hmm. I think now I'm Gryffindor. Because now I stand up for myself, at least mostly. And um, I'm, I'm, I'd like to think I'm pretty smart, but I think, I think I'm tough now. I'm Manny the Destroyer. So, my ex wife told me I was Slytherin, but I didn't believe her. So, I took one of those tests online, and it just told me I'm Gryffindor. Just like my man Potter. Howard? Who comes up with these questions? My God, it's obviously Slytherin. Welcome back from commercial for our second match of the night. We have Heather White versus the Brad. So let's go ahead and call Heather to the arena. All right, here comes Heather. Back from her suspension, Ugh, a little bit vulgar. I told her about doing that, but nevertheless, a new Game of Honor Junior stepping into the arena, and what an opportunity to be facing a internet champion. Yeah. So let's go ahead and call her opponent, our Game of Honor internet champion, the Brad. All right, here comes Brad, He's coming in. Smiling as always, undefeated. I've never seen someone so happy to be a champion. I know it's gonna be a very fun match and I'm excited to see how these two do against each other. Uh, certainly a uh, clashing of personalities. I was thinking the same thing. The Brad versus Heather White. Xenoverse 2, you gotta love this game. We have the Brad playing as Broly and Heather White playing as Kefla. I mean, Broly definitely seems like a proper pick for the Brad. Mm -hmm. Kind of that big bulky character. Yeah, definitely. And uh, these two characters, I want to say they kind of marry each other. Uh, these are both DLC characters, really strong. Mm -hmm. This is actually the new Broly from the movie. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. So his moveset's completely different than the old Broly, completely different than anything we've seen in the past. And Oh, oh there's that classic like move. Curves. Yep. <laughs> and uh, I, I love it. I love it. I love everything about this match. I love everything about these two characters. And, you know, I love everything. Just seeing these two play is, is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. But back to the match here. It looks like the Brad is currently in the lead. Uh, his health is still in the green. And he's just kind of wailing on yeah, Heather I here. Mean, Heather doesn't have much of a chance. Oh. Uh, what's happening? What is this? What's going on? Uh, oh. Oh. Fuck, put me down! Put me down! Okay, fuck. Big Dad just came in and grabbed yeah. Heather. Um, yeah. Well, that's certainly something. Uh, uh, and Brad is continuing the match, and that's it. That's a no contest. It's though. it's a no contest. Even though Brad continued to play here, uh, that is a no contest. I don't know what that was. I don't know why Big Dad just came in and grabbed Heather. That's Insane. That that is that is. Uh, that, has that ever happened? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. We had someone take a control. I believe it was Heather took a controller. From she did. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, I guess these two are going to do something. Turned but. out is fair play, I guess. Yeah, but so like, is this gonna be every game I play now? I'm not complaining. It's like free wins. Okay, I tried too hard. But like. What? It's 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 no before it's, it's so like no contest. It's no contest. I mean, you keep your title, of course, but of course, like she was gonna take it in the first place. But like, all right. All 
And, but hopefully we can put a stop to this. Uh, guys, we're going to go to a commercial break, and we'll be right back with our third match of the night. What Harry Potter house would I be? Mm. Oh, I know. I'm a Hufflepuff. I've been told I'd be in Gryffindor. I've been told I have a really good heart for helping people and just a really good leader, so I'd have to go with Gryffindor. Um, hey Kelly. Um, I was wondering, uh, I, I challenge you to a match. Okay. And if I win, I get your number. The, the right one. Okay. And if I win, I get your pre-order bonus. That's worth it. You have yourself a deal. Deal. I touched your hand. Welcome back from commercial. Joining us on commentary, we have the Brad. What up? Uh, Cass is actually going to be in this match, so let's go ahead and welcome him to the arena first. Hey, here comes Cass. Not wearing his commentary attire. Looks like he changed to something more comfortable to do better in this match. He's wearing that Mickey Mouse heads though on that shirt. Yeah. It's respectable. I get it. I try to wear something comfortable when I play competitively too. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna go ahead and call in his opponent, Manny. I'm ready to win this one. All right, Manny coming in, aggressive like he has been the last few times, focused. I wonder if this time he'll actually be able to win a match though. I mean, we'll have to see. Seems determined as always. Hmm. But when's that ever helped him out, you know what I mean? Maybe ain't too good at this game. Well, maybe, you know, maybe he'll do good. Hey. Let's cut him some slack. Hey. All right, and let's call in the last player in this match who has kind of been on fire. She's done a very good job her last few matches, and I'm interested to see how she does against two veterans here tonight. Let's call in Kawhi Britt. All right, here comes Britt. Uh, you know, I really like her entrance, man. She comes in with some energy, some fire, and... Uh, she brings a little positive energy stepping into the GOH arena. Yeah, she re she really do. And I like looking at like the crew here. I mean, we got two like has-beens that aren't really good at this kind of stuff, and then we have like Brit. So like, I I wouldn't wouldn't put it past that Brit's gonna win again today. But but yeah, <laughs> I'm biased. I think I see what you're saying. I mean, Brit's come out of the gate running. She's been doing an awesome job in these matches, and I think she's just paving the way to the title. Mm -hmm. she's played against Ass and, and Manny. All right, all right, all right guys. For Manny. Let, let's go ahead. Let's get this match started, and let's see who pulls four out of these three contenders. How about that? Cass versus Kawaii Britt versus Manny. Astro Bear. Essentially, this is a game of snake. If you run into the trail that you or your opponents create, you're eliminated. Ooh, Just that oh, fast. Oh, wow. Yep, very fast paced game. Kawhi Britt comes in and she takes the lead right away. Mm -hmm. uh, these rounds go very fast. This is the first player to reach 20 points will okay. win. It, I mean, putting on a sphere only makes it more difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, Snake already, once you get long enough. Oh, wow. Britt oh pulling goodness. in with a second victory they already. Called it. I told you guys. I mean, a little early, but I mean, like, it, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about Britt being the number one contender for your title? So, all right, we could talk about that for a second. Listen, Britt, uh, here in this environment, she's, she's victory. doing great. Look, she's smashing these, smash, smashing these boys. Mm -hmm. But again, I am undefeated. Defeated this season since I cut the the, the extra weight that a uh, that other the guy first loss that uh, the, the Chad Chad it it's all me man all you right, can't that, stop me 
I will I will say that. It looks like uh, Manny actually came in with the victory for himself this time. Oh, Manny, he uh, got lucky. Yep, tying up with Cass. And I will say, you have been undefeated. You've been doing an amazing job here in Game of Honor. Thank you. Honestly, I think you might be the greatest Game of Honor internet champion right now. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I said it a couple times, but I mean, it's nice hearing you say it too, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, really, there's a lot of colors here. I see Cass lost again. Mm -hmm. So, oh. oh wow, and she pulls through. Even, mm, mm, I have mm. to say, this game gets very chaotic the longer it goes. Yes, it's a fast-paced game, but the longer that you allow yourself or your opponents to build those lines, it yes. gets so difficult to stay alive. I mean, oh. even that last round was probably our longest, and I mean, the whole map was just a mess. Mm -hmm. Now, there are different size uh, planets that you can run on, okay. but essentially the game is exactly the same. Okay. So, this if if Britt comes in with this victory, and she there has, mm -hmm. she wins. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. She wins mm -hmm. the try honor match, and honestly, for her to pull forth a victory against such a landslide victory at that mm -hmm. against Cass and Manny right. is impressive. Absolutely. I mean, both veterans to the game, really. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with our main event, where we have Kelly versus Venus. That fight! So, uh, I have a guess for which house I think you'd be sorted in. Uh, so do you want to start or do you want me to start? Go ahead, you start. All right, so I would have to say that in terms of smarts, in terms of brains, I'm a, one of the top dogs here at Game of Honor, so I have to sort myself in Ravenclaw. How about you? Uh, I'm not too big on the brains. I'm not too big on my people skills and all that kind of stuff, so I'm going to go with Gryffindor. <laughs> I'm just going to stay with that. I was going to say that. You just, you just come off as a total Gryffindor. Thank you. Yeah. I think I took that test once and it said Hufflepuff? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... So you know why I called you in here. Uh, just because Heather did it to you, doesn't mean that you can go around doing it to her as well. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right. So I'm gonna have to suspend you until further notice. I, I don't wanna do it, but... We have policies and rules here in Game of Honor, and I, I have to enforce them. I don't agree with it, but I understand rules are rules, so I accept it. Wow, he was really understanding. So, I've been thinking. I think we should rebrand corruption. Rebrand? Uh, isn't that kind of like John's choice? It's like his whole idea and stuff. Ah, semantics. How can you respect somebody and look to somebody as a leader who hasn't even been world champion yet? Ooh! <laughs> Welcome back from commercial. This is our main event. We have Venus versus Kelly Oxley. We heard that there's, you know, some rumors going around that these guys have not been getting along. And now we're going to see them fight it out here in the GOH arena. So I'm very interested to see if things get resolved or what's going on between these two. So let's go ahead and welcome our first player to the arena, Venus. All right, here comes Venus into the arena. Former Game of Honor internet champion. And I gotta say, you know, I love seeing her play matches. Uh, she fights hard, and Justice 2 is her game. Just the Injustice series in general is her game. And uh, Kelly came in making a splash mm -hmm. in the same game. So I'm interested to see who's gonna do better tonight. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and call in her opponent, Kelly Oxley.
Here right, comes Kelly Oxley, chosen by GM to be here. One of the most aggressive players to ever step foot in Game of Honor. And this her game. I mean, this is like the Clash of the Titans right here. Mm -hmm. you know, these are two very strong and honestly brutal contenders. Mm -hmm. I mean, KO and Venus, it's, it's nasty. It's nasty, and I'm ready to see how how good this match is going to be tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So let's head, go ahead and get this started. Venus versus Kelly Oxley. All right, so in Justice 2, we have Har Harley Quinn, which is, uh, I believe, Venus, and Kelly is playing as Black Canary. I mean, that matches the players pretty well, I think, for the most part. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that uh, Kelly Oxley used Black Canary last time she played when it was, believe I believe it was her versus Nathan, and Nathan used Blue Beetle. Mm -hmm. So... Black Canary is definitely her character. Uh, this is definitely somebody she excels with, and you can tell that she makes quick work of her opponent. I mean, look at the health gap right now between her and Venus. Oh, dodge that Ooh. special. Mm -hmm. that, that was a good block, a last second block from her too. Oh, She's really going out with those throws. Yes, she is. Not giving Venus much time to breathe at all. Yeah, Venus is already down her first health bar. Mm -hmm. Kelly just showing that like she's putting the time to main Black Canary. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely brutal how effective Ooh. she is with her combos. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The skill coming from this character or coming in with the special, and she hits. Is this going to be it for Venus? It no, might there's a little leave bit of HP left. Bit. I don't know. This last hit might oh. do it. Oh, oh, no. There's still some left. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, still in there, still fighting. And she's coming in with a special of her own. Hits it this time. This might knock down her health bar. Mm hmm. I got to say, I love Harley Quinn's finisher. Oof, it, it's, it's violent. Yeah, it is. Down her, now Kelly's down her first health bar. Mm -hmm. So Venus has to go on the all-out offensive here and just not give Kelly a chance. No. If she There's no room for defense here. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, looks like Ooh, yeah. Kelly oh, that swings. that range is going to do her in, I think. That's it. There it is. That's yeah. it. Kelly, Ox Kelly actually wins. She wins. Uh, she's going to win 25 points of experience here. And I got to say... The way she jumped, swung to an advantage mm -hmm. just to grab Venus that way, that was experience talking. Absolutely. And, I mean, for her to beat a former internet champion as how she did, I mean, that's impressive. That's impressive. That really shows how skilled she is. Yeah. It, it was something. Well, guys, thank you for watching Game of Honor. Uh, we will be back next week with more. I'm a Slytherin, of course. I don't think that needs any explanation, do you? You know, I, I feel like, like Gryffindor is just too mainstream to pick, even though I probably belong there. Uh, I'm gonna go with Hufflepuff because uh, <laughs> it's a funny word. <laughs> All right, guys, we're technically done with Game of Honor, but Nathan and Scherbler asked for a few minutes of our airtime, and as champions, I'm gonna allow it. I'm just going to be taking five minutes of your day and let you know that beyond good and evil, my boy Nathan and I have established ourselves as the top contenders for the co-op championships. All right. And I also want to let you know that there is no one out there in that roster that can beat us. I mean, corruption, done. Cass and Serena, done. Am I right? Uh, it's cast is slightly, um, not... <laughs> uh, Kunai, I know you may be, uh, hard to understand, but numbers isn't hard to understand. There's only one of you. You can't challenge us for this. Yeah, that's right. Run along. <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that ninja's thinking. I mean, a number, one, one ninja's gonna take down us. One person can't win a co-op championship. Exactly. My boy gets it. <laughs> so, open challenge. Anyone who thinks they have what it takes to take down Beyond Good and Evil, you know where to find us. The 
this is so cute. Thanks. I, I think I actually got it from your side of the closet. That's okay. I totally stole these from your side. <laughs> so I, the other day I had a Hey. Mind. So I've beaten both of you now. How does that feel? Always losing. Well, it doesn't matter how many times I lose. I sell more fans than you. I've been on the show longer than 